Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Week in Review for the week of the Superstar Shakeup 2018. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot going on. Yeah. A lot of a lot of moving and shaking. Yeah, because last year we were at the Raw when the Superstar Shakeup started. Yes. And there was what, a handful of moves? Yeah, it was it was not as much. No. For sure. Yeah. Um but I think the WWE acknowledged the fact that SmackDown was a very lacking show, and it seems like basically what they did was they took all the dead weight off of SmackDown and put it on Raw, who could afford to eat. All right, so, yeah, basically, exactly like you said, mm -hmm. we didn't have time for these people on SmackDown, so we're going to put them on a show where there is time for mm -hmm. them, but we're going to take people off Raw that had significant spotlight and are going to be all crammed into a two-hour show. Um, but I, I think we're... we're well, let me finish. All right. I think we're going to get a lot of multi-man stuff. Which is fine. Yeah. Um, I actually disagree with your idea of saying that they're crammed now. Because what they did was they're taking people who are poorly utilized mm -hmm. and moving them to a show where you have room to grow, which is SmackDown. Well, there is truth to that. Because, um, kind of spoilers, Samoa Joe... Didn't really do anything and during his He was time. injured. For I'm good... not saying the last couple of months. I'm just saying throughout. He had one the one feud with Lesnar he was where with, he got squashed. Yeah, he was with Lesnar. He had a else feud with Rollins. Stuff. Well, that, okay. that yeah, but that's always how they're going to yes, build up if, a pay-per-view match. No, no, oh. I'm not saying multi because he was in the Fatal 5 way to determine the number okay. one contender. He right. was in the Fatal 4 way at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. So there was never a really big singles feud for him. Okay, fair not enough. Just the Lesnar one. Yes. Now, if you put him on SmackDown, it's true. That has more room to do that. Mm -hmm. So that that's kind of my point. I was, yeah. I was even. No, 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 I, I got what you're saying. I was even thinking that, like, with, like, um,. Braun Strowman, him being the most popular guy in the company, technically speaking, minus one short feud with Brock mm -hmm. Lesnar, has done pretty much nothing during the last year and a half or so. What? He's been very entertaining yeah. in terms oh. of building importance for him. You well, know him I mean? going over Reigns a lot of times built him up to where he was. Yes, but that was... Like o almost yeah, a year that was ago old. Now. yeah, that's right. So because last superstar shakeup was when the ambulance thing happened. Yeah, well that ran through what? It didn't run Great much longer. Balls of fire. Did that happen? I thought they had. It's a match possible. There. I think that's when Joe and Lesnar fought. So that's when probably... they yes they had the ambulance match then maybe maybe no I don't remember but you know what I mean yeah like, he's I got been, you. he's been a part of a lot of entertaining mm -hmm. things right but there's no okay this is the guy kind of moments it's true whereas you know Roman Reigns Seth Rollins Finn Balor well not even not so much Finn Balor but those those guys you feel like they're getting pushed at the top bring them over to SmackDown Finn Balor should have went to SmackDown yeah well actually especially since the club went to SmackDown too. Hey, that is a weird one but you know it's fine it's going to be AJ and the two of them, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I, sure, I don't know. I sure hope so. They can turn that face very easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no definitely. But AJ's there... already in his own thing. You know, I don't know. It doesn't know. matter. He's got backup now. <sighs> yeah, but... No, this is for the future. I'm not yeah, I guess Shinsuke. that's true. With Shinsuke, it's not going to make a difference. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So much going on. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's start with Raw. Yeah. Um. So... Kurt Angle comes out and says, Oh, it's really exciting. We got Superstar Shake Up. <laughs> <laughs> up. So that, that's pretty much what he was doing. Basically. That man is a mess. So, it is. Anyway, he uh, starts talking about great uh, additions to Raw. And then we get Sunil Singh mm -hmm. coming out and introducing the newest member of Raw, yep. the United States champion, Jinder Mahal. Oh, yeah. And so he comes out to a chorus of booze. Oh, of course. I mean, comes out in full ring gear, mm -hmm. which is strange. So he comes out. He complains about the fact that he didn't have a limo to take him to the show or something like that. And then uh, Angle's like, "Well, we do things differently on Raw. We settle everything in the mm -hmm. ring." And then Ginger's like, "I'm not wrestling." Well, he Even said he wanted the same treatment as Brock Lesnar, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> you treat your champions well over here. Yeah, and then. Uh, and so he doesn't want to wrestle and mm -hmm. defend his title, even though Angle tells him he has to, despite the fact he's wearing full ring gear. So obviously <laughs> he was ready for a match. Yep. Couldn't it's always even funny say when they do that. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, they, uh, he has a match. And um, basically Angle says, 
whoever wants to yeah, come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody from the back want to take on Jinder? I think yeah. something and to then, that extent. Uh, Jeff Hardy came down yep. to uh, accept the challenge, mm-hmm. and uh, the two of them had a match. They did, and uh, yeah, they did. And we have a new United States champion. We do. Uh, Jeff won with the twist of fate into the Swanton Bomb, which yeah. is not a surprise. No, we all saw this coming. And a lot of people are... Get, imagine if they put Jinder over here, how <laughs> mad everybody would be. You know, as long as he doesn't have the WWE title. I guess that's... I mean, I'd be all right with him having the Universal title just to get it off of Lesnar. Yeah, it's true at this point. So, at this point, a couple of questions arose. Mm-hmm. Like, so is Jeff going to SmackDown right. or is Seth going to SmackDown? Mm-hmm. That's basically yeah. the only two options. Because we got backlash commercials throughout the show that were still hyping the Orton versus Jinder match. and Which most yeah. likely will not happen. No. Um, I then, think it was announced, or actually, no. I'm yeah, it was wait. the next segment. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we go backstage and Jinder is talking to Renee, and uh, he says that he wants to, you know, evoke his rematch at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And then something happened screwy here was, with the audio. That was really I don't know. Bad so they started playing No Way Jose's music before Jinder finished cutting his promo mm-hmm. or uh, during the interview. Yep. And then it kind of faded off, and then you notice No Way Jose comes yes. up, and then they started playing his music again. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And I was like, oh, jeez, here we go. Yeah, that was really, really bad cue. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, No Way Jose comes in, and he starts dancing. He had his conga line, I think, or whatever yeah, you want know, to call it. And then Renee goes, you want to join? And she's like, yeah. yeah. And she completely just abandons question, uh, asking questions to Jinder. Mm-hmm. He did not look happy about that. No. So. so, you know, down the line, we're going to get No Way Jose versus Jinder Mahal. Which is but. fine, because that's technically on the undercard is where he belongs. Yeah, that's that's the one thing that I think will... Uh, it's kind of in reverse here, is that Jinder got a lot of spotlight on SmackDown, and I think he's not which, going to get that on. Which is fine, because if you want to push the guy and have him do things, have him do not important things. Right, you want to do that with the undercard, but yeah. you didn't have the time for that on SmackDown. Yeah, so Roy true. is the perfect place for him. Yeah. He can beat up all his SmackDown jobber friends that came over. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So Yeah, um, because half of the roster, or I should say half of the superstars that came over were not announced. Um, Not really. All right, let's see. Uh, Zack yeah, Ryder yeah. wasn't announced. Mojo wasn't announced. Corbin, we got a promo for. Mike Kanellis wasn't announced. Yeah, the no. Ascension wasn't okay. announced. There was a ha- there was only a couple that weren't and announced. And Chad Gable wasn't announced. Yeah, that's like five out of the nineteen. Okay. Well, one, three. Okay, fine. Yeah. Four, five. Yeah. Okay. So it's like seven or eight. Yeah. But whereas anyway. last year, a lot of them weren't. Yeah, because we got Apollo Crews like in the morning mm-hmm. or in the afternoon before it happened. Yeah, and then it was all pretty much. Like, the graphics pop up now mm-hmm. on Raw or now on SmackDown. Whereas most of these actually made physical appearances. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Actually, so, it's funny because SmackDown actually had less actual physical yeah, appearances, which is fine. It's a 2 show. Yeah, yep, exactly. Makes sense. Uh, then um, we had Sasha versus Bailey. Yeah. Um, They definitely have something here. Do you mean between the two of them? No, well, I mean, I I think they this is the point where they need to move forward with their original plans and do something between the two of them. Yeah, I, because I, I don't think that was ever not the plan. No, no, but I mean, just like, uh, so they had their match normal, and then all of a sudden they got into a back and forth of just sl- sl- uh, slugging the crap out of each other, and yeah. the crowd just got into it, and it was just, it just felt big. Like, it, it felt like... Felt like- NXT, where it was exactly. heel Sasha versus Bailey, a little except bit. they're going to switch the the roles around. Whatever they're going to do. Yeah. But yeah, it felt like yeah. it was like, okay, this is finally what we're working towards. And guess what? They're the two big names on Smack or on Raw right now, except for Ronda, but she doesn't count. No, and we'll get that to that later on. Yeah. So and also they did it, they made a very smart decision with with her. So yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, um, but, but yes. But yeah, Bailey and Sasha are the big names on mm-hmm. Raw now. And I, it's not, they're not overshadowed by that's, anybody. That's a good thing. That was yeah. a smart thing they did. Yeah. Which we had said before we started recording that it was a surprise that neither Sasha or Bailey went to SmackDown. Yeah, because we kind of figured that they would move One big of names. Yes, yeah. right. Because basically there was only, well, there was four people who went from SmackDown to Raw. Mm-hmm. One of, or a grouping of which we'll talk about now. Yeah. With, um... The Riot Squad yeah. but interfering. Th- this, th- but that was a perfect way to do it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. Because no, that's what they do, yeah, first yeah. of all. As Sasha and Bailey were beating the crap out of each other, the Riot Squad came out, 
and started beating down Sasha first, mm-hmm. and then they went after Bailey. Yeah. So. And uh, so now the Riot Squad are members of Raw, yeah. which is fine because again. Now there's fodder for the rest of yeah. the roster. Yes, because it makes a lot more sense when you have, because they had no momentum, they had no, <laughs> they had no like. Know, power no. or whatever I'm, we're, we're kind of in the same point at, on smackdown we'll get to that after mm-hmm. but you know well, there's, there's, no i think absolution is a significantly more uh it's not uh, what i'm talking about oh, okay yeah, i was yeah. gonna say because absolution their counterparts basically mandy rose and sonia deville are definitely a lot more it's a lot easier to take them seriously oh yeah because the riot squad kind of feels gimmicky whereas well, absolution it, feels legitimate it was just that it was the next night they showed up on SmackDown. It felt like it was just oh, yeah. a carbon copy yeah, of them. exactly. And it just felt like a cheap ripoff. And uh-huh. that's, I mean, granted, originally it was Paige with the two of them yes. in Absolution. Mm-hmm. So, so that was, was already was cemented as legitimate. Three, yeah, Three-person uh, group and mm-hmm. then another three-person yep. group. But so. Either way. Yep. Moving on. Oh, yeah. So I was surprised here. Yeah. We had <laughs> Heath Slater and Rhino come out and challenge the Authors of Pain again. And then the Authors of Pain just beat him. Yeah. Like, nothing happened besides that. Well, Heath Slater and Rhino did get some offense in. That was it's a little true. bit of a surprise. I, that was a big surprise. Yeah. Um, did you, oh man, the Authors of Pain, they just don't do anything for me. The, well, I figured that this would be a vehicle to start a feud for them. Yeah. But, like, someone new came over from mm-hmm. SmackDown. Right. Or whatever, but no, nothing. they did nothing. It was Maybe weird. you could have even had Rhino turn on Heath Slater well, or something they, like that, which they had hinted in the past. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to do that. Um, I can't like lose they another could have, tag. They could have even had like a Harper and Rowan come out and attack them. Yeah, well, and just have them lose the titles at the the Royal Rumble. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? They could have done something like that. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, because why the tag the champions are... weren't there. There was no yeah. ter- current champions yeah. on Raw. Yeah, didn't matter. Yeah, but, um, you could have just had the bar win and go to SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would made a lot yeah. more sense, and they switched the, the titles. Um, but it's just yeah, yeah it's it weird. doesn't make any sense. No. Uh, like the authors of pain don't belong on Raw if there's no other monsters. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just going to be them dominating the. T- it's going to that, and that's when the NXT tag division kind of died for a while. Yeah, because you know all that's all they had. Mm-hmm. Now they. Don't yeah. have anyone again. No. After SmackDown. Right. Which is kind of funny. Right. Because I think the par would have been a legitimate threat for them. Yeah. But whatever. What are, what are, yeah, exactly. And what uh, are you going to do? Yeah. So uh, up next we have an episode of Miz TV. This was probably the best segment of the night. Well, or one of the anyway. Yeah. Well, you know. It, it, it teased something <sighs> potentially good, but they just ripped it away from us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he comes out and he says that he has a, uh, a new member of the the raw roster that's yep. really going to make a, a difference mm-hmm. so he comes out and he's like i don't just have one member i have two and he introduces kevin owens and Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. and while the two of them are coming out michael cole is insisting that because they don't have jobs with the wwe they can't come to raw right and he just kept on saying mm-hmm. i don't understand why these guys are coming out here they can't they're not employed mm-hmm. and then um kurt oh, angle comes out he says that you're not allowed to be here, man. Mm-hmm. And then Sami Zayn goes, "We got an email, or you haven't checked your phone that yeah. you're always playing around with." Yeah. I think that's what he you said. Haven't checked your email. Yeah, says, you haven't checked your email. But don't worry, I printed it out for you. And he yeah. pulls out a crumpled why, piece why of paper. Why does he have Kurt Angle's email? <laughs> well, I think I think everybody had gotten the email. I thought he said. I thought he I said it was company. I could have sworn he just said right. that he got the Whatever, game. it doesn't matter. So Sammy pulls out a piece of paper, you yeah. know, unravels it, gets his glasses out, puts it on. Yeah. He goes, yeah, there's an email. It says, uh, we're reinstated. Signed, Stephanie McMahon. Yep. And, uh, you know, Stephanie McMahon, you know, Kurt Angle, you're a boss. So at that point, we were like, oh, man, all five of these guys, the Miz, Tra- Miz, Miz Taraj, and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It would be a dominant force mm-hmm. for sure. It would be. That would, that would have been an awesome stable. Yeah. But, but Kurt Angle had to go and ruin it. Kind of, you know. Yeah. I like what they did anyway. Yeah. I figured yeah. it was inevitable. So while Kevin and Sami are members of the Raw roster. There's nothing Angle could do about nope. it. Nope. He says that. The Miz, however, is going to SmackDown yes. because Daniel Bryan had requested him. And uh, and then Miz says, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go to SmackDown with the Miz Taraj and do what I did here over there. And then Kurt says, nope, 
you're the only one going. The Miztourage is staying here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so the Miztourage is going to flounder. Um, yeah, I mean, that that was it. That's all they really got out of this. Yeah. Um, and then Angle makes a 10-man uh, a tag for the main event, which will be the Miztourage... Miz, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn Mm -hmm. against, what was it, Seth, Balor, Lashley, Lashley, Braun, and and then a mystery mystery opponent, which Mm -hmm. is going to be the last newest member of Raw, which actually didn't end up being the last newest member of Raw. Technically. They announced one after the show. Yeah, that's true. Um, So, yeah. Yep. Exciting main event, at the very least. Yeah, well, I mean, when there's a mystery there. I mean, it was completely one-sided when you had the Miz That was the point. (laughs) Yeah, well, obviously. Um, All right, so up next we have the finals. What the the hell do they call it? The tag team? Uh, Eliminator. Eliminator, that's what it was. Yes, yes, yes. It was a rival versus uh, Matt and uh, Bray. With uh, the bar on commentary mm-hmm. and Michael Hulls in it, or was it the coach? It was coach, right? Who was like, "Why do you or why do you guys call yourself the bar?" Right? Oh Wasn't yeah, that <laughs> yeah, because he's like, because we we're the best. He says the like, bar. He's like, but yeah, but why do you call yourself the bar? I'm like, wow, coach, you're an idiot. That's when you text him. I was like, coach is an idiot. Yeah, I'm just dying. So uh, anyway, yep. But Matt and uh, Bray will be facing um the bar at the greatest royal rumble correct yes and obviously matt and bray are gonna win because mm-hmm. you know the bar's on smackdown now which yep. we didn't get to yet but yeah it, it it's obviously going to yeah happen. so a lot of matches that happened last week are kind of irrelevant this yeah week. but whatever it's it's show by show thing you know that's true and it's the world of wwe so it does nothing necessarily needs to be uh yeah, it doesn't know. it doesn't There's really not, it doesn't have to be continuity with everything yeah um, but I mean, to talk about the greatest Royal Rumble, man, that thing's shaping up to be a, a hell of a show. It's true. It's almost as if they did it on purpose. Yeah. Right. Like well, I think what what I had heard was is that if this does well, which I would assume it does, mm-hmm. since they're doing everything's co branded pay per views, mm-hmm. they're going to have a lot a more network specials. That makes sense. It does. And if they do them <clears throat> they outside do of the, the country, US. exactly. Have the UK. I mean, they've been killing for a pay-per-view. Canada, same thing there. Um, but they've had <clears throat> plenty of pay-per-views in Canada. Not recently. Well, maybe not that many recently, but in the past. They oh, have. yeah, yeah. It's well, not like they've never done it. No, I know, but I'm, I'm just so, saying those are places yeah. where it's easier. Just to... don't do it in Montreal. Get booed. <laughs> just, or I should say, make sure Shawn Michaels isn't there. He's, I know that's not much of a threat, but. He's producing NXT matches now. Yeah, well, yeah. he like got signed on as an NXT yeah. um, coach a mm-hmm. couple of years ago, I thought. Yep. Um, yeah. But yeah, up yes, next, yes. we mm-hmm. have the bar walking in the back, and then they run into the newest members of the Raw roster, the Fashion Police, yes. Tyler Breeze and uh, Fandango. It was a good segment. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. They, Those two are great. <laughs> they kind of just look up and down the bar Wearing and they go, dresses? what is wrong with you? that hair, that mohawk? <laughs> you don't even match so they were both given tickets yes they were given fashion tickets cesaro and shamus were very confused as to what just happened oh yeah that was great so that that was good and you know that's a thing like christine was like oh why did they, why did they take the fashion police off smackdown i said now they have, they have time, time to, to be, be on, on tv, TV. i know it's perfect they should have done this to begin with if they're gonna do anything true. with them i mean th- that is one thing that we complained a lot about is the undercard on smackdown and now it's completely moved to raw yeah which is fine because now you're gonna focus on important things Mm -hmm. hopefully because i mean how many times do we have matches that were squash matches on raw all the time yeah so now you can actually utilize the time properly Mm -hmm. so they definitely did a good job Mm -hmm. evening out the stuff yep all right so up next we got kurt and ronda rousey talking backstage yes um and then I don't remember new, what they were talking about. I don't, I can't, I thought I rem- would remember, but I can't, it was some dumb. <laughs> it's generally speaking how it goes. So, uh, we have the newest, another newest member of Raw, mm-hmm. Natalia. Yep, and I guess her and Rhonda had trained, or she had trained Rhonda. Yeah. So we had that, so Rhonda was all happy to see her, mm-hmm. and then I guess what, Natalia had a match, right, later yeah, on in she, the night? Yeah, she said she had a match. That was... So, what they're doing here is making it so that Rhonda has a, a mouthpiece mm-hmm. and someone who can protect her. 
like in terms of like matches like if she's in a tag match natalia can kind of hold her we'll get to that in a few minutes oh okay sure um but (laughs) just what i heard i don't know if it's necessarily true okay obviously i don't know if it's true because you know the internet is a crazy place but yeah i think the idea of having the two of them together is a lot better than because you kind of figured they would pair ronda with somebody yeah and also this is the right decision you now have a veteran presence on raw Mm -hmm. i mean they didn't really have well and mickey james oh yeah that's right yes. and and quite honestly at this point in time sasha, sasha and, and bailey yeah. count as a yeah veteran but presence. but i think the whole thing was her and ronda had a connection oh yeah which yeah. was fun yeah. like i said Absolutely. i like the fact that they did that and speaking of mickey james she was in a match next with ember moon yes and naya jacks and alexa bliss were told that they were going to be on commentary yeah, together Na- for yes. whatever reason naya just showed up and we got to see alexa backstage and she said she didn't want to be on commentary because i was a bully and you know this this yeah. can't die we, we can't let it die uh it will it will die soon yeah. don't worry. hopefully there'll, there'll the be fire. a match at backlash or something and yeah because she'll get her rematch and then you know that's where it'll yeah, be because there is no women's matches at the Greatest Royal Rumble. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was Ember versus Mickey. I yes. think we said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, I did. Okay. Um, Mickey sold the hell out of the Eclipse. She almost fell out of the ring. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, but Mickey, I'm glad they brought her back. Well, she's she, good. She, yeah, she moves so well in the ring, yeah. and it's, it's a perfect role for her, and I'm yeah. sure that's, you know. Well, I think she came in under the assumption that she wasn't going to be, like, top. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. She, she's helping putting people over, yeah, which absolutely. definitely is the big mm-hmm. thing. So. And, yeah, so, like I said, Ember wins with the Eclipse. Yes. And Mickey sells the hell out of it, and it was a beautiful thing. Yes. Um, yeah, she had a front flip and almost rolled out of the ring. Like, oh, like, yeah, <laughs> she almost, like, flew through the middle rope yeah. onto the floor. It, it was beautiful. It was very close. Yes. Um, all right, so uh, up next we got, like, a backstage locker room mm-hmm. segment. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are stressing over their match for whatever reason. Um, the Miz comes over. He's like, oh, you guys are on SmackDown. How do you think Shane will treat me when I go over there? Shane McMahon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how is he? <laughs> he's ruined our lives. Yeah. And like, well, the- yeah, but the- he doesn't like yeah. you. He- he's got to like me. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? Who-, who cares? This is my last match on Raw. That's what we're going to focus on. And yeah. at this point, the Miz Taraj is in the corner sulking all sad. And, uh, yeah, Miz is like, you can be sad after our match. <laughs> right. This is not the time. Yep. Um, so we go to the ring, and Dolph Ziggler comes out. Yep. I was like, at this point, I was like, oh, man. They, they got rid of the entire lower card and all the reasons I don't care for SmackDown yeah. half the time. So Dolph comes out. He talks about his normal nonsense about yeah. being the greatest uh-huh. and all this other stuff. And, and everything then, on Raw is the same except for one difference. Then, yes. But... And then Titus Worldwide comes out. They do. Um, they try to recruit him. Mm-hmm. Titus gives him a business card. He says, you know, with your in-ring ability and all this other stuff, we can I can take you anywhere. Yeah. So uh, and then Dolph kind of just stands stands there and he goes, well, I did say there was one difference. Yeah. And then from out of the crowd, Drew McIntyre comes yes. in and destroys Apollo and um, Titus. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they I hit- think it was on apollo probably yeah 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 um dolph went for the zigzag and at the same time drew went for the claymore oh it was a beautiful combination yeah. so it was it was uh the potential for a very good well a team. lot of people made the connection i thought of it right away it was the whole sean and diesel thing it just kind of yeah fit the mold it, a little it, bit it's obviously true. completely different because dolph is <laughs> at the tail end of his career not the tail end but yeah but in, in, in terms of like the small technical mm-hmm. guy versus the big brooding guy. Yep. An unfortunate role for um, for McIntyre, McIntyre. But yeah. at the same time, technically, Diesel went on to be very... He was pushed well. Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah, say absolutely. he performed well. He was well, they always well. made that uh, uh, saying that he was like the worst drawing champion or something like that, yes, which wasn't necessarily true. It was just it was, a bad it, time. It was a for, sign of the time. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, necessarily exactly. him. Absolutely. Well, and then he went on to book WCW. Yeah, you know. but he was still one of the more popular people. <laughs> yeah, no, there, absolutely. So. Big name, that's for sure. Yeah, so um, and and not, it, not a bad No, thing, and but, I guess Drew McIntyre is now heel, so. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. He's technically he fits. He could fit the role yeah. either way. He's a big, scary man, likes beat up people. And we learned one important thing. 
all three members of uh, the yes. Man Band is on Raw now. Yep. So it's only a matter of time before they have a reunion. Yes. It's too bad this didn't happen like two months ago. And they could have done something at like the 25th anniversary oh of Raw. And then that's who got destroyed by uh, DX. Yeah. That would be bad for um, McIntyre. McIntyre. Yeah, no. I don't think they're going to screw up this run. Uh, Not that okay. they didn't, you know, I guess. He no, they screwed up the yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah, I guess so. But he was Vince's boy, right? Yeah, that's why they screwed it yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so up next we got uh, Roman coming out. Mm-hmm. Same same old nonsense. Yeah, he he got more booze this time. Yeah, but, you know, this could be a uh, place-to-place thing. Yeah, I guess, yeah, well, obviously, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Joe comes out, mm-hmm. almost exactly what happened yes. last week. Mm-hmm. Said that he's going to, after he loses to Lesnar, he's going to put, put the big dog down. Why um, don't you bring your fat, lazy ass down here yes, or something, or your lazy, Reigns, fat ass, whatever he said. That's what Rain says to Joe. Joe goes down to the ring. He's like, you know what? Never mind. Yeah. Goes back up the ramp, then goes back down the ramp and no, says, nah. My time. We do yeah. it on my time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was okay. a waste of time. Yeah, and I don't know why they gave that line to Roman. Oh. They have a whole bullying angle going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah whatever. Yeah. We, it's fine. We can we can body shame guys. It doesn't matter. I can just, you can get away with it a lot more. That's for sure. I guess that is very true. Um. So so yeah, that mm-hmm. was the same old nonsense yep. as the week before. And then um, we had uh, Mandy Rose versus Natalia. That was her opponent. Yes. Um, Natalia went over with the sharpshooter. Not a surprise here. Yep. Did uh, Sonya Deville get involved at all, or just toward the? Or I think not maybe really. she went up on not the during, apron or something. Not during like the that. match, not yeah. a whole lot. Because but- Natalia was by herself. Mm-hmm. After the match, obviously, the two of them beat down Natalia. Mm-hmm. Ronda Rousey comes out for the save, and her and Sonya Deville square up, as I guess they put it. Yes. And, and well, exactly what and we Ron- expected. Rousey happened. destroyed her. Yes. So, apparently, the first feud for Ronda is going to be Natalia, as weird as that sounds. Because they've worked together, and... I guess that would make the most sense, because yes. they're most comfortable. That's probably, that be, yeah. That's what I heard. Why? I don't know. Maybe we'll get the new welcoming committee. Oh, God. That'd be funny. <laughs> well, you know, Sonya Deville and uh, Mandy Rose are now on SmackDown, so this whole thing just went in the... Well, I don't think this was meant to set anything up. I no, I, I know. The... Yeah. But Natalia was still... How could that be her first feud, though? Like, I would imagine down the line, but, like, this literally just happened. That's I think that's where they, that's the reason they brought Natalia over. Like I said, that's fine. Yeah. I just I don't understand how that could be her first one. I don't know. Either Natalia way. could just say she doesn't need her, didn't need her help, you know, I, so I, on and yeah, so I guess forth. So. Who knows? You know, I was that, gonna say, but that's what I just heard. So yeah. you know, well, just, no, because at the same time, like I guess that means Natalia's face now, but I guess that's not necessarily no. going to yeah. be the case. Just, yeah, that just makes Natalia's sense. been a heel for a long time now. It's, it's just, man, that crazy old seventy-two-year-old bastard is going to uh, change his mind on a day-to-day basis anyway. So it's true. Anything We're talking about Vince, of course. Uh, yeah, um, that is true. So up next, we have the news that Baron Corbin is now on Raw. Yeah. Another example of them moving dead weight from one show to another. Yeah, I mean, Corbin was on SmackDown. He would be showcased well, and then he'd go three weeks, and he wouldn't be on the show. He'd be like, hey, what happened to that guy? Well, Corbin has improved as a competitor and such. Uh, It's just not enough room on SmackDown. No, absolutely, and that's really what what it was. Yeah. so uh, after that, we mm-hmm. have the Fashion Police versus The Bar. Yes. So we got uh, basically The Bar versus Titus Worldwide, basically what happened. Yeah. With, well, uh, this is also probably just a send-off of The Bar. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, su- surprisingly, uh, Tyler Breeze was able to roll up uh, uh, roll up Cesaro mm-hmm. with a uh, Sunset Flip yeah. pin. Yeah. And uh, so... Yeah, I mean, The Bar dominated the match. Yeah. So. So it was a it was a stealing win, which is basically how the mm-hmm. Fashion Police win everything anyway. Yes. So it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Elias was interviewed by who he called Rachel. Yes. Which is Renee. Say hello, Rachel. <laughs> um, and she she wanted a or he he suggested that she wanted a private show. Yes, that was it. And then he said he wasn't going to play for basically a, a crap hole town like where were they? Uh, they were in. Uh, Hartford. Hartford, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yes, yeah, yes. They, were, they were in wherever the WWE yes. uh, headquarters is. And then what, Renee just cut him off, kind of, and said, oh, this interview's over or whatever, and just well, walked yeah. away, right? Well, he was saying something about Lashley, too, because they had something last yeah. week. And then I think 
She just walked off. I can't remember. She was distracted by something. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I thought she just said this is over or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Elias um, got on TV. That was all that mattered. That's true. That's what they try to, it's try true. to do. And he'll now have finally some opponents on the show to make him look stronger rather than having to him have him go up against the Braun, upper, yeah, upper card. Yeah, Braun, Finn, I mean. John Cena. John Cena, yeah. yeah. He had several matches with Cena. Mm-hmm. So he could easily feud with Corbin, which yep. wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because they're both heels. But they could have Corbin. They could have one of the guys that's can, in the next match. He beat up Zack Ryder for a while. That is true. Mojo and Zack are both on Raw. Yes. Um, and then, uh, so up next we have the final. The 10-man tag. Well, yeah, it's the main event where we find out the last member of SmackDown to move over to Raw. On the show, anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. So... This is the obviously the ten minute tag we're talking about earlier, mm-hmm. and everyone comes out, and then the final member is the glorious one, Bobby Roode, which is a little underwhelming. Yes, expected but underwhelming because and... you know Bobby Roode didn't really do anything. He's still face unless they turn him heel, which would be the smart thing to do. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like there's too many heels on Raw to begin with. There's a lot of heels on SmackDown now, too. There's a lot of heels in general. Yeah, well, we've we've talked about yeah, that. But then again, it's a lot easier to book heels. heels yeah. Because you could just take a, a lesser aggressive heel and make them the yeah. face. Um, so, anyway, this main event, very one-sided. Obviously, the faces yeah. won. I mean, we did see, uh, I think, Bobby Lashley manhandled by the Miztourage at one point. Well, yeah, but a two-on-one. <laughs> yes. Well, there was one notable thing that happened toward the end of the match. And that was... The Miz Taraj jumped down on the a- oh, off yes, the apron when the Miz went to tag them. Yes, because That was the, the only part Braun. of the match that I saw because I fell asleep. <laughs> he, he was he was in the match with Braun. <clears throat> yeah. Or Miz was in the ring with Braun. Mm-hmm. And he went to tag Dallas. Dallas jumped down. Went to tag Axel. Axel jumped down. Mm. C- com- <gasps> officially splitting the Miz Taraj yep. from yeah. the Miz. And then he got those hands. Yes, he did. He got <laughs> destroyed by Braun, and yep. he ended up winning. It was funny because the rest of his team were like on the, not on the apron, but like on the ground on the outside just watching. Yeah. Like, it was pretty funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. So well, that's Would how you sh- expect any less from Kevin and Sammy anyway? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking oh, about oh, the, oh, on the faces. Yeah, Finn, that's right. You're right, you're right. They were all standing outside watching. Yeah. Yeah, they were just clapping and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, this was so, just your typical face first heel match. That yeah, was really and it, you know, at this point in time, we still didn't know who's going to SmackDown, mm-hmm. so we kind of yeah because we had such an influx of talent. I mean, we had we'll run down here. We had Jinder and Sunil, which I'm guessing the other Singh brother as well. well. Who knows? They'll probably put him as a tag team. They'll feud with the Miz. No, they'll just end up being on two hundred five live occasionally. That's true. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we had the Riot Squad, Owens and Sami Zayn, Zack Ryder, Breeze Ongo, Natalia, Mojo Rawley, Dolph, Drew McIntyre, Corbin, Mike Kanellis. There's a surprise. A uh, that, As- that happened on Twitter? Twitter. Yeah. The Ascension, which is through WWE's Instagram. Yeah, but I feel like they said something, or, at least, or did you text me? Saying I think it? I texted okay. you. Yeah. I know I heard it. Bob Roode and... Chad Gable. Which was announced after the show went off mm-hmm. the air. Which made sense to split that tag team up because they were just kind of thrown together anyway. Yeah, that's true. And I would assume somewhere down the line, maybe even Jason Jordan's first feud coming back could be with Chad Gable. Or they team up together and it's another tag team in the Raw because tag team division. Because of the whole Jason Jordan thing and how it didn't really work out. Work, yeah, yeah, that much. Well, they could have the two of them feud and then they team. That's true. I'd be okay with that. Because they kind of need the tag team. They're good as a tag team. And Jason Jordan Dude. has proven that he is not capable of mm-hmm. holding down um, a show or holding down yeah. as a singles Yeah, which competitor. we had expected Gable to be the singles competitor, yeah, exactly. which would have made more sense because there's more natural charisma. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah, he's just a much more relatable and likable. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, um, moving on to SmackDown. Yeah. So, uh, should we talk about what we thought, or should we just move on in? As far as just the show overall, um, I mean, yeah, we can talk about it. That's that's fine. Yeah, um, I think that they. It was funny because it felt like a normal SmackDown with a couple of things peppered in. Right. Yeah, because they didn't 
have this bum rush of people like each segment was meant for a new talent to yeah. come in we it was had... more of this is a regular episode of smackdown mm-hmm. with a couple of new arrivals yep. taking place during it um a couple of surprises a little that we bit didn't yeah. expect yeah um yeah that was yeah because i think i would say what a majority of the people were just announced right yeah, yeah. A, a good a good portion of them for sure um, so the show opens up with AJ coming to the ring mm-hmm. and, uh, he says that he was complaining about, uh, Shinsuke ruining their match yep. at WrestleMania. Well, he thought yeah. it was going to be a, a dream match. Well, it didn't matter because he went over and that was pretty much what he was saying. Yeah. And Shinsuke failed basically. Yeah. And that's why he did what he did. Yeah. So, uh, uh, he says he's not leaving the ring until Shinsuke comes down to fight him. Mm-hmm. And instead Rusev Day comes out, Rusev and Aiden English. Yep. And then Aiden English does his promo and rapping and then singing, and he yeah. just jumps back and forth. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, AJ says, come on down here. I want to fight. Mm-hmm. So him and Rusev have a, a match. Yep. And then uh, pretty much immediately, yeah, AJ, AJ puts put, in the calf crusher. Mm-hmm. Um, Rusev looks like he's going to tap out. Aiden English jumps in. He gets disqualified. Yep. They both and, beat him down. Yeah. Daniel Bryan comes in for the save. Yes. And... So at this point, we're like, oh, this match is going to happen later yeah, on. Which was fine. Yeah. Which is funny because this all, this entire thing took place within 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that was that was quick. Different. Um, so. And backstage, we had Shane McMahon watching TV from an odd angle, as <laughs> we do in the WWE. Of course. Uh, Paige comes in, and she obviously makes that match that we were talking about as the main event tonight. Yes. And she, They both did Teddy Long impressions. Yes. Yeah. Holla, holla. holla, holla. They yeah. make a tag team match. Yep. Holla, holla. <laughs> and was, she left the room, funny. and Shane started dancing, and she came back in. It was yeah. like, oh, oh this, this is, is just awkward. awkward. And then that was the end of the segment. Yeah. And speaking of awkward... Sure. Shelton Benjamin's promo oh, yes. was uh, not very good. No, well, he hasn't had to talk. I, since well, he that's came back. that's that's true. There's a lot to do. With but it. it was uh, it was a little strange. But yeah, he comes out and he says that someone hacked my Twitter because well, well, I he, never he, would have said nice things like I I, yeah, I did. Right. Because apparently he said it was an honor to to work with yeah. Chad Gable. Wish it's unfortunate for him to leave. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, he said that. He didn't need Gable mm-hmm. because he, he's just fine on his own. And uh, so what he does need, though, is championship it's competition. Opp- yeah. Yes. Championship opportunities. <clears throat> so he says, I need someone to come down and give me competition. Mm-hmm. And then Randy Orton was using Yep. Somebody, and I was like, oh, uh, great. What is this, 2008? Yeah. And well, then all of a sudden, Jeff Hardy comes out. And they did wrestle in 2008 together oh, on right. a SmackDown. Yeah, it was that's posted pretty, on Twitter. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Orton's kind of coming down. Jeff just kind of casually goes past him. Yep. Orton's like, Orton's like yeah, whatever. This? I'm still getting paid. I don't <laughs> care. Going to the back. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat stuff. <laughs> Hang out and catering. Yeah. I'm going to learn from uh, his K- buddy Kevin yeah. Owens. So, uh, uh, but yeah, we have a match. Uh, it wasn't very good. It was okay. You know? Yeah, but I, I it felt they gave it a decent amount of time. They did. And I figured we would have, I don't know. It's just. Were you expecting anything? spectacular to happen not spectacular but i figured they would have worked a little better together like it just seemed clunky yeah technically two old men so that is very true yeah like we said this match happened 10 years ago as well either way yep um jeff wins with Mm -hmm. his patented uh twist of fate swanton bomb combo um i don't think this was for the title because during the match they said that if jeff loses this could be bad for his momentum going into backlash or the greatest royal rumble so I think it's fair to yeah. say that it wasn't a title match. No. Um, Shelton's new somebody, probably a veteran presence on SmackDown. Yeah. Which, so I, And Shelton Benjamin probably <clears throat> should have been a singles competitor to begin with. Yeah, to begin with, absolutely. So now this, he'll probably, because this, this is probably this is his first real singles match he's had since he came yeah. back. Yeah, I would say so. Um, I know he's had a couple, like with, the, with an Uso or mm-hmm. whatever, but... That those really don't count because generally speaking those get interrupted halfway through anyway yeah that's ak that's our that's typical writing for a tag team feud yeah all right we're gonna have singles match yep this guy against that guy then the other guy versus the other guy yeah. and that's it yeah which we did get later on yeah so uh up next we have the miz doing mm-hmm. one of his phone promos yep. but he was at his house because yes. he's too important to come out on mm-hmm. during the superstar shakeup. did you think i would be there no i'm in or what is he in la or something yeah. like that 
And, and then uh, we uh, see uh, Monroe Sky, right? Yes. On TV and with Maurice. Maurice. And uh, what did he say? Oh, he said he was going to kick Daniel Bryan's ass, and then Maurice yelled at him for his language. That yeah. was funny. Yeah. It was a so, good spot. Uh, so he said he's going to be making his premiere next week. Yes. All right, so next we have Absolution is being announced to come over to SmackDown. Yes. Not a big surprise. No, we figured, well. They would come over to be with Paige. And that they would be the swap for the Riot Squad. Yeah, so it was pretty pretty obvious in that one. Yep. Um, yep, yep. After that, we have Jay Uso versus Luke Harper. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they have first names again. Yes. They introduced... They did. Luke as Luke Harper mm-hmm. and Eric Rowan was accompanying and him. I think on Monday they actually had Apollo Cruz as Apollo Cruz. Uh, it wasn't just Cruz. Maybe. Mm, I, I'm just, I, I'm just I certainly didn't notice if that's what they did. All right. That's that's what I heard. Um so this match the outcome wasn't surprising, but the way no. it ended was weird. Yeah, a little bit. So Jay was on the outside of no, the ring. It was Jimmy, right? Wasn't Jay No, Jay no, was no. in the ring. Oh, okay. You had Jay versus Yeah. Oh, okay. Jay was on the outside. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Apron. I gotcha. I th- he gets hit with a discus clothesline by by Harper. Mm-hmm. Like, f- falls back into the ring, and mm-hmm. then he gets That pinned. was it. Yeah. yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. Um, but they kind of made... Um, they kind of... Well, Jimmy and Harp and Rowan were, were fighting yeah, on the outside for the whole map. Uh, cat match. and mouse a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, Harper wins. Mm-hmm. Um, the... Bludgeon Brothers beat up both the Usos. Yeah, they get into a fight outside yeah. the ring. Would uh, Jimmy get or Jay got thrown into the steps? Right. Uh, I think they said it was, it was Jimmy. It was, no, it was Jimmy. Yes, it was yeah. Jimmy. Because then Naomi came running out. Yeah. Don't don't hurt, don't hurt him. him. And then she laid her body in front of yeah so him she's and pleading for mercy. The Bludgeon Brothers were like, Meh, yeah, and walked they, to the back. They're like whatever. And, and that was uh, that. So that was it. Yeah, it was weird. It was an odd spot for Naomi. Yeah, but. But got her on the show. It's true. Yep. Um, so up next, we cut to the ring and Sin Cara. Well, is well in it was the funny ring. because they showed they like panned out and he saw somebody in the ring. I was like, oh, I think that's Sin Cara. We have a sighting. Well, you didn't see on <laughs> the Titan or not the Titan Tron, but like the like the scoreboard oh, no. that said Sin Cara. Oh, did it? <laughs> it was probably when their advertisements were coming up, and I was just looking at who was in the ring. Yeah, oh, it's funny though because like, oh, Sin Cara actually has music. I didn't mm-hmm. even know that. Big Kalisto. Because ba- you know, basically, he always came out to the lucha Kalisto's yeah. music. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, so apparently, his opponent was a new member of the SmackDown Live roster. Yes, and that opponent was Samoa Joe. I was a little surprised here. I was too, but it was a good call. I think Samoa Joe should have been on SmackDown in the first place. It's true. They, they really did throw away too many people on Raw and, at first. A little bit. So, well, I mean, that was the A show, as yeah. they put it. SmackDown was clearly the B show after the Superstar yes. shakeup last year. Yeah, it's true. Although it did look promising. Right, yeah, because Joe had debuted before Mania, right? When it, him and it, He debuted, like, right after the Royal Rumble. Right, Remember, because yeah. everyone wanted to be in the Royal That's Rumble. It. And then he wasn't. He got it was the Samoan same... name, Joe. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyway, mm-hmm. Joe wins in a, s- a little less decisive way than I expected mm-hmm. with the Coquina Clutch. Yep. Sin Cara actually got offense in. I honestly bit. don't understand why he's still employed yep. with the company. Yep, yep. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, then he grabs Mike, and he breathes very heavily during his promo. Uh, he says that SmackDown is not the land of opportunity. It's the land of handouts. And uh, he's going to prove that he's better than everyone on SmackDown. Yep. So uh, after he wins the Intercontinental Championship at the Greatest Royal Rumble, he's going to face, or he's going to put down the big dog. Yep. And then and he's going to win the Universal title from him. Well, too. he said if <laughs> yeah. Roman happens to beat Brock, he's going to take the Universal right. title and bring them both to SmackDown. Bringing all the belts to SmackDown. Yes. That's it. Uh-huh. And we go back. Oh, no. And then we got a announcement that... It wasn't well, an announcement. Well, it said chaos is coming. Yes. yes. And it's then strange it's, that they did both these things. Yeah. But um, I guess we'll we'll fast forward a little bit in a second for, mm. uh, temporarily. So they did... You know, when Sanity like was first being announced. They did a bunch of like little like commercials with yeah. like people spray painting mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it said chaos is coming. Right. They did the same thing here. We obviously at this point knew what it mm-hmm. meant. Sanity was going to be going to SmackDown. Yep. Later on, they made an official announcement. So I guess I figured just get that out of the way. So, I figured that they yeah. would not do that. 
Huh, since they did the yeah. original thing, but yeah, so whatever. It's, it's technically all of Sanity minus Sneaky Cross. Yeah, which, which I'm a little surprised I'm, about. I'm disappointed and a lot of people were as well. Um, but I think there's not that many opponents for Sheena in yeah, NXT. Yeah, I was going to say, there's not a lot of women. High in, caliber, you know. Because they lost Ember and uh, Billy Kay and Peyton mm-hmm. Rice. Yeah, I mean, you have... Is there anybody else? I don't think so. Not really, and now you're lo- losing Zelina, which she was had a thing with Candice. Yeah, but I was going to say, she wasn't yeah. really that much of a Yeah, and I think the wrestler. next thing's going to be Candice and uh, That makes Shayna. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway. But, yeah, and then we go backstage, and Renee is interviewing Daniel Bryan. She kind of asks why he went came to the aid of AJ Styles, and then Daniel Bryan says that he respects AJ Styles. You know, he was one of the men that he was hoping to face in the WWE, and then all of a sudden we get the return of Big Ass. I mean, Big Cass. He comes in, and you just see the camera pan up, and he's staring over Daniel Bryan, t- talking to him as if he was at the same height, and then confused of as to why he wasn't up there, and then he looks down, and yep. yeah, he's like, "Wait a second, yeah, and he's something, something little man, right?" And yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, so big Cass is back, and he's bullying again. Wow. So obviously, obviously, he's a heel. <laughs> yes, which we weren't really sure if they're going to keep him. Yeah, heel or not, and it's just it very, doesn't matter. No, but this is interesting booking. Oh well, the fact that he got put in into seemingly a feud with Daniel Bryan, yeah. to come back is a little strange. Yeah. Anyway, nope. we'll get to well, that Well, at least later. we have a main event for next week's SmackDown. It's true. <laughs> so uh, up next, we have a celebration. Mm-hmm. It's Carmella's celebration of her very first women's championship. Yeah. Uh, this this went on for a while. It did. It felt um, like a very long time. Carmella did a good job getting her message across. but it's true, it just but the fans sent, didn't really care. Well, that it, I think it was just too long. That, that was it. It's possible. Um, but yeah, she was very proud of that she was able to beat um, mm-hmm. Charlotte all by herself. Yep. No one helped her at all. Nope. Um, and then they played like a like well, a clip right. show kind of thing mm-hmm. of her winning the Money in the Bank, and then yeah, a all of her of achievements, shots, and then her pinning Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, then, she said she was going to miss Frankie, which was her Money in the Bank, Bank briefcase. But I guess she's going to name the title Cleopatra, yeah, right? That's what she said. That's her new uh, her um, new pal. And then Charlotte comes out and mm-hmm. she says that you only won the money in the bank because of that chinless little freak. And then <laughs> that you only won that championship because of Billy, Billy Kay, Kay and, and Peyton, Peyton Rice. Rice. Yeah, and then, you know, she goes on to say, you know, congratulations, though. You did capitalize on an opportunity, and that's yeah. coming from the dirtiest player in the game or whatever, yeah. yeah. And then she goes into the ring and mm-hmm. she's like, I want my title back. Yep. And then, well, she was on the apron at this point. Well, and, yeah. yeah. She was mm-hmm. in the process of going to the Fair ring. Fair enough. Um, and, and the then, Iconics came out, yes, which is what they are referred to now, apparently. Um, and you know they say they're the future, and then they kind of just run Charlotte down. Mm-hmm. Peyton makes fun of her, and yeah, she called her a big baby. Yeah, so <laughs> need my diaper. Which Charlotte was absolutely dying at yeah, this. She was, was, she was <laughs> having a good time, and I was like, all right, this is more enjoyable when everybody else is enjoying. Yeah, it. it's true. Um, when you t- when you take things too seriously, it's kind of right. hard to get. Yeah, behind. no, absolutely. Charlotte's um, just smiling and laughing. Yep. Yeah. So they finish their promo, mm-hmm. and then Charlotte's like, "All right, I've had enough." And then she goes to beat up the two of them. Mm-hmm. She gets outnumbered. Yep. Carmelo is actually in the ring the entire yeah, time. Yeah, just hanging out. Move. Yeah. So they're like, oh, yeah, I'm not I'll just watch this. There's two of them. They yeah. don't need me. Yeah. And then uh, Becky comes out to help. Yep. Um, and then they make a, a singles match. Which yeah, is which is odd. Yeah. Uh, it was Charlotte versus Billy Kay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlotte wins with the figure eight, yeah. obviously. Billy Kay was the odd choice, but hey. Yeah, you obviously should have picked the stronger of the two wrestlers. Yeah, whatever. whatever. I mean, she didn't look... At, like, I mean, there was points in her NXT matches where they were bad. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if it's her movement in the ring, but she just never felt like she could... Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, she was almost afraid to take bumps and stuff like that yeah. but i mean her and charlotte they the match wasn't bad oh no, it wasn't terrible so that's but... that's good to see yeah because that was always one of my things in the back of my head it was like because she wasn't wrestling for a while it was mm-hmm. just mainly peyton and yep. she was the i guess a manager as you, I guess yeah i guess so call it that way but um, yeah did you say that charlotte won? yeah you said charlotte won with figure eight right yes and then carmella attacks her after the match all oh, the other Oh, the Iconics, I should say, attack yes. them so as it's well. So three on two. Yep. And then we have the latest member of SmackDown Live roster, yes. Asuka, Asuka, coming to the rescue, which makes a lot of sense in several ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, she wasn't on Raw the last two weeks, mm-hmm. which doesn't mean 
anything really, but mm-hmm. it made sense that obviously she was moving on. Yes. Um, Charlotte and Asuka obviously have, I guess, uh, a built-in potential feud slash respect. Yeah, absolutely. So they feel like they can either team together or if need be, if one of them has the title, they can, you know, they'll, they'll be natural challengers for each right, other. Right, absolutely. Um, um, whereas it felt like with Charlotte and Becky, they were friends and they wouldn't be. Yeah. So it kind of, it's mm-hmm. easier. And I, you know, I wouldn't really necessarily call Asuka. She can teeter either way. Yeah. On heel oh, yeah, face. yeah. But what I was talking about during our Raw review is now you have three very dominant faces against three weaker heels. However, the title is on the heel side, so it's a little different. Yeah. It's like true. we had the Riot Squad versus Charlotte, Becky, and Naomi, and it mm-hmm. was just like, all right, how are you guys going to make this believable that they're going to beat them? Yeah, because you know? Natalia is gone now. Mm-hmm. Tamina, I is probably not going to come back. She's yeah, she's out for a while, I believe. Um, so yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, that's it's not even close. No, that's yeah. that's the only thing. But I mean, but uh, but the problem is there's there was no way to do it without completely shifting all the right. Rosters. And now you have what? Let's see, Th- those three are heels, the Iconics and Carmella, and you have uh, Absolution. Which, yeah. So you, and then the three faces, which makes sense. Well, there's four. Oh, yes, Naomi, too. I always forget about Naomi. Yeah. It's not hard, especially the way that they booked her last night. Well, yeah, anyway. That's true. So, uh, so yeah. But it, still, it's good to see Asuka on SmackDown. Right. At least, that's where she should have at least be now you can have an A and B storyline yeah. mm-hmm. with with the women on SmackDown. That was, yeah. it was a big problem. Because basically it was all... It was all the top. Even if you have Becky and Naomi versus Absolution or something like yeah. that. Now you have options. Right. Cause it just it was a mess back or before wrestlemania mm-hmm. i mean next week we're probably going to get a six woman tag but you know I would that's, imagine. that's 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 but it that they set that up technically mm-hmm. all right sure. so up next we have a series of three introductory segments mm-hmm. basically uh first there was a video promo the club will be joining smackdown which i'm a big fan with because it gives them more more of an opportunity to shine yeah, they were... also they can team up with aj potentially which could happen always a point um and then the bar are now on smackdown which obviously should have been where they went last yeah, year just a, an odd uh, swapping of teams we got yeah. the ascension and the fashion police going to raw in the club and sheamus and cesaro on smackdown yeah when SmackDown's strong point was their the tag, tag division. division. Yes. Which is strange, but, you know, uh, I'm, hopefully they have some kind of plan. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, also, the uh, Sanity will be on mm-hmm. SmackDown. Another right. Strong yes, another tag, tag team. team. Yeah. <laughs> so. Which I think they'll probably be facing, like, three faces or something like that, you know? Yeah. So, well, yeah, they're going to come in. That It's even a potential feud for AJ and the club if yeah. they team up. It, yeah, absolutely. Because so. Eric Young will, was, was used as pretty much a main, not a main eventer, but an upper mid-carder. He, in. he was he was kind of like a buffer guy. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. Where he could go from the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and Makes then sense. we had the New Day <laughs> walking down the back. Yep. Uh, Big E is riding on some kind of like guy that works in the building or for the whatever, <laughs> and then he's like, "Okay, you can go now." And mm-hmm. he jumps off. Mm-hmm. Um, they run into our truth. Yes, and all of them are happy to see each other. Don't they shake hands, right? Yeah. And yeah. then all of a sudden, Ty Dillinger comes up, and him and our truth kind of have a stare off. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they break into this high five, patty cake, something. Yeah. Or another secret and, handshake. Yeah, pretty much. And then. Uh, what does our truth go man it's so good to see you guys on raw i uh, see so, yeah, i think so <laughs> and then they're like no it's it's tuesday it's smackdown he's like all right i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> and then he walks <laughs> off it was pretty funny yeah oh actually no it wasn't even three it was four so after that happened there was a video promo of um no oh, andrade yeah andrade cian almas yes. with uh selena. selena vega yep so I wonder if they're going to utilize her in the women's division as well, or is she strictly going to be a manager? I, I, it would be nice. Yeah, that's another heel. <laughs> it's fine, because like we said, we have the strong faces. Right, yeah, so that, that's more true. More heels yeah. would be yeah. a better way to counteract it. That is true. And uh, yeah, no, Amos is, he'll probably be like right into the U.S. title picture, I would assume. Yeah, it would, it would, it would be appropriate. Mm-hmm. And he might, he'll probably be booked better than other NXT call-ups. I hope so. Because he kind of well, not necessarily. Bobby Roode was not really the best performer. 
Like, he's I, not I mean, a bad wrestler, but he wasn't... That wasn't his thing. Well, yeah. Was, I mean, and almost they, had five-star matches with yeah. Gargano and things like that. And Bobby yeah. Roode was a character. Yeah. And that character worked in NXT where yeah. it, they changed, made him face and then put him on the main roster. Completely destroyed just like, him. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, there is that giant question mark. And that's the SmackDown creative team. Yeah, it's true. So Unless they did what they did last time, supposedly, and switched the teams. Because that's, I think, what they did. Yeah. Oh, uh, did they? I, I thought I heard that they yeah. they had, they switched people on the creative teams. And that's part Makes of sense. the reason why SmackDown well, was so bad. Yeah, I know the guy that was doing the Superstar... Not the Superstar share. The uh, Mixed Match Challenge, I think. He was an NXT producer, I, I believe. So I don't know if he's moving to SmackDown well, if, or something if, like if that. If whatever he was doing, he knew what he mm-hmm. was doing. It's true. So They had some good stuff there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so up next, we have our main event. AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan versus Rusev Day. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a good 15-minute or so match that culminated in probably one of the funniest things I've seen on WWE TV in a very long time. Are you talking about the ending or yeah. all the way at the end? Yeah, it culminated. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what fair. it means. Yeah. I didn't know if you meant the end of the match or the end of the show. No, the end of the Well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, fair enough. Either way. Because so, there was two minutes left. So <laughs> the Daniel Br- or pr- pretty much the whole match, AJ is getting beat up by Rusev. Mm-hmm. And then eventually he gets the hot tag to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's on a roll. Yep. AJ finally gets up like he's ready for a tag. And then the, it's on the hard <laughs> camera. And then in the corner of the screen, you just see Shinsuke like sneak behind AJ and hit him with a massive uppercut low blow. And he just held it, held his arm there for about a minute. And it was just the funniest thing. Because, like, obviously it was predictable because everything was, was gone down. It's just so funny. Um, and Daniel Bryan gets distracted by this, right? Yeah. Turns around, big cast comes in the ring, hits gets, him with a big boot. Yeah. Which, which is weird. Like, yeah. why did he interfere in a match that was already being interfered in? Well, you know, um, heels got to be heels. Yeah. So uh, Shinsuke goes up the ramp. Renee Young comes out. It's like, why did you, why do you keep on doing that? And then he says his no speak English, English thing again. <laughs> oh, so good. Heel Shinsuke, man. It's great. Yeah. They're actually using racism positively. Yeah, I know that's sure. a weird thing to say, but yeah, but yeah it was good. Um, uh, I mean, like I said, the questionable thing is Big Cass and Daniel Bryan. That's just an odd choice. But yeah. next week's main event will be Shinsuke and Daniel and uh, Big Cass versus Most likely. Uh, Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. Um, it's just, you know... You're going to push Big Cass? I mean, it's not going over Daniel Bryan. They planned you know? on pushing him before he got hurt. No, it's true, but so, I mean, you know, that's that's pretty big it there. Could be, it could be they're trying to make Daniel Bryan look good, so you give him a big opponent. Granted, that, yeah, I mean, their two biggest faces are AJ and Daniel Bryan. You don't have many people that he they can put him over. It's true. So, yeah, it would make sense. There's a lot of heels on SmackDown. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I Jeff's a face. He'll, yeah, but he'll, and he'll move up. He'll probably do what AJ did and jump back and forth between the... Yeah main event and I, I also feel like they might book sanity as a face team depending a possibility. on possibility up, up against yeah because if you have if you have eric young in a feud and sanity is with him well th- he'll be the face whereas they could be heel tag team. they were the first real team to take the authors of pain down weren't they uh i believe so because they took the titles from yes them. they did yeah. take the titles from them yes. well was that when o'reilly and fish that debuted? was way before yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah because yeah. the authors of pain won it twice that's right yeah so um but yeah no, that, that was, would make sense yeah yeah so that was smackdown that would be the oh, yeah. omens for the bludgeon brothers yeah ex- well, exactly mm-hmm. um but yeah that was that was smackdown yeah and really like you said uh, it's all up to creative now they have the roster they have the yeah, tools the, the now. pieces are there yeah for sure Just um don't screw this up it seems like a, if you did a like a kind of like a one-to-one comparison where you like okay i'm taking for example jinder mahal swap mm-hmm. for jeff hardy obviously smackdown yeah and down the line if you do that it's like at every point it seemed like smackdown benefited from right it. i still so. wouldn't mind if they did here and there like a random trade or something like that like i feel like wwe needs to get to the point where all right this isn't working let's try something oh else. you mean like like a random in, trade. In August. Yeah, yeah. Say we have thing. an August and we, you know, or say any any time, really. Well, we get I, like I one use trade. that as an example of not now. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, that's true. They they probably should do yeah. that. 
but Let's say we got Rusev for Finn or something in the, that yeah. nature. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens at some point. Yeah. So I just feel like that because like that now it's a whole year where you're like, oh come on. Well, unfortunately, SmackDown was super bad. Before the shakeup, after the initial draft, both shows were fine. Yeah, right. Exactly. SmackDown was ex- uh, exceptionally good. Yeah. But Raw wasn't bad. No, no, no. Whereas no. Raw got very good, mm-hmm. and, and then SmackDown, SmackDown was got tough really to get bad. Yeah. So, oh, but I, I think SmackDown is now the wrestling show again. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They did their. They did a good. Uh, good job here. Yeah. No, so. I think so. And like we said, it's all in creative's hands now. Mm-hmm. Don't screw this up. Yeah. So. That was our WWE Week in Review. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.